Today we are having a Boys Night In where we've invited a, a number of students from various schools in the Maryland and Virginia area to come in, spend a night learning about science, technology, engineering, and math. This evening I've come in to meet some very enthusiastic young men uh, who are interested in STEM, which is what I'm interested in. Uh, what we'd like to do is share our love and passion for what we do here at NASA with these students. Whether they come and work for us, work for industry, or work in the private sector somewhere else, we want them to find that passion. We want them to enjoy what we've enjoyed over the years here at NASA. So there's students from uh, three school districts here in Maryland and one from Virginia. We came and saw the different like sections of engineering, from building telescopes to weathering. We used the VR system and saw how space communications work. It was just a very fun day. And what I liked about the day is we actually got to meet the people who do stuff here. And they were helpful enough to actually lead us through the stuff that they do and like give us opportunities to look into their daily lives and what the work they do here is. Later, we got to watch the interview from the astronaut, which was really interesting. If you go back and you look at any of us when we were kids, we were excited by things that uh, were risky and scary and, and very few had done before. But what it does then is is get you ready for the next journey. And that's what we're hoping to excite these young men this evening, to get on that journey and do things that no one's done before. Uh, sometimes students confuse hard and impossible. What we want to do is show those are not the same things. Just because it's hard doesn't mean we can't do it. And I found that when you excite somebody's passion, almost everything gets a little easier and that's what they excel at. They gave us a problem, we have to build a robot. Uh, it has to travel at least one meter. Basically, we have a uh, space crew and we have to protect them from the radiation which is shown by UV light. And we also have to make the shuttle move a whole meter off of a ramp. So it's not easy, but we can do it. So the benefit for me is to have those students be my next pool of really smart and amazing people. So I want to bring as many of them in as I can to do the amazing things we do here at NASA. I want to become a mechanical engineer once I graduate high school. So I communicated with a lot of other engineers, also talked to people who worked at NASA about internships, which can also make my resume look better for when I graduate college. So today was all in all a great experience for me. My love for engineering has increased from before, and I think this is just a great program for all students. I didn't realize how many different parts go into NASA just besides the engineering. I can really see how like the business side of it, the research, the outsourcing, there's so many different components that come in together when making an entire team, which is really interesting. Well, what struck me is the, like, the stuff that they're doing here at NASA is actually really involved. And it's like, it's not just science and technology. It's stuff you can apply to every aspect of like any career you do. For Goddard, it helps us to see the excitement and the enthusiasm of the newer generations, next generations of scientists and explorers, and hopefully to inspire them so they will come here. And if they don't come here, they'll go into other areas and make our nation and our world a better place.